Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In this session, we're going to look at the Analyze Data in Excel. Stay tuned, and before we start, let's look at my intro. The Analyze Data functionality in Excel empowers us to understand our data through natural language queries that allow us to ask questions about our data without having to write complicated formulas. Now let's take a look at that. I have here an Excel spreadsheet that is open and this is just a listing of all of the sales from AdventureWorks by category. I've got four sheets in here, namely bikes, clothing, accessories, and components. So I'm going to open another Excel spreadsheet in here and then go into the data tab, get the data, and point into that workbook that where my sales are, and that is the analyze data. I'll hit the import and I will see all my sheets in there, select multiple items, select all the four sheets, and I will now hit the transform data and I will be redirected to the Power Query Editor. I'm going to just append those four sheets in one. So I'm going to hit the append queries, choose the three or more tables and I will all choose the four sheets and I will hit OK. The data now of those sheets are now in the append one sheet and I'm going to just rename this to sales and I will now hit the close and load and that will load into a sheet in my workbook. I have here now all the sales from that four worksheets that I have. Assuming we have limited time to do the pivot and create some pivot charts on our data, this is where the Analyze Data functionality in Excel comes handy. We can find it under the Home tab and there's this Analyze Data ribbon. All we need to do is just click that ribbon and what Excel would do is analyze the data and give suggestion on and give us some pivot tables and charts in here. So I can click on Show More and I have all of those. Let's say this is what we wanted, category accessories as noticeable higher rating. So you can insert that pivot chart and that will create another sheet in our Excel spreadsheet. And if in case there is something in here that is not really what we wanted, we can even ask a question about our data in here. For example, there are some suggested questions in here, like percentage of total sales for each category. We can choose that suggestion, and then we can insert that pivot chart, and that will create another tab, which is suggestion number two. Or you can type your own question. Let's say I will get the uh, top sales for each category or for each year. I will choose that and it will give me a little bit of a pivot table sales by year which is the maximum sales or maybe that's not what I like I will say for each category for example then I will just hit the arrow and that will give me exactly the same as that percentage of sales by category which is based on the max sales and you can insert that as another tab into your Excel spreadsheet. If you don't like, for example, the chart that was suggested, you can change the chart type, right click on it, and then you can give it, let's say, a pie, and then you can choose a pie, put in some data labels inside our chart. So, in summary, if you have limited time, remember that Analyze Data feature in Excel that will help us understand our data in just one click of a button because it's using the natural language queries. It gives us suggestions on visual summaries, trends and patterns, and we can even ask questions about our data. 
I hope you've learned something from this session. If you like it, hit that like button and hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.